Hello and welcome. I'm the CNC Repairman, and in this video, you're looking at my toolbox. I have quite a slew of tools here. I have some general hand tools, some test tools, some machine tool specific tools, and then some that are very specific to working on certain machines and ways to calibrate them. Let's take a closer look and I'll show you every tool. For small basic hand tools, I really don't have anything super special. The main thing I do is I number everything in my toolbox and carry it in different bags with shadow boxes. That way I know I haven't lost anything. You have to carry everything in metric and standard because you never know what machine you're going to be working on. For my indicators and machinist level, I keep those in a separate box. I carry a fluke multimeter and a fluke clamp on meter. Both of those have a minimum maximum current and voltage reading. For sockets, I carry a quarter inch drive bit drivers and for deep and shallow sockets, I have two sets that have every size. If you're a CNC tech, you know how important it is to have the right tools. Here are just a few of the tools that are available on cncreplacementparts.com for working on CNCs. I'm going to do just a quick overview of each one. This is a grip force meter. This is a 40 taper split tool. Here is a drawbar removal tool and a drawbar seal driver tool. Here is a drawbar nut removal tool and this is a drawbar removal tool for removing the washers. Here is a nitrogen hose. Here is a tool that will allow you to lower and raise the umbrella tool changer. This is to calibrate the spindle probe and this is a belt tensioner that works on all three size TRPs. Here is another tool changer tool to allow you to check the pressure of the precharge. This is a lathe indicator tool for collet chucks and these are your push pull blocks for aligning a turret. This is a universal five axis and traveling column leveling plate that will allow you to level a machine. And this is a universal leveling plate for a lathe that has different size stick holders and will swivel. If you're a CNC guy, you need to have an RS-232 cable, crimper, the pins to make one, and the pins to replace a Molex connector. If you work on your own machines or you're a CNC tech, you know how important it is to have good tools. If you're just getting into this trade, I would recommend getting a good set of hand tools and also a good voltmeter. Those will save you a bunch in the long run. After that, I would recommend getting the more CNC specific tools. All of these tools here are available from CNC replacement parts where they have tested each one specifically for its application. Be sure to keep them in a good case and don't lose them. Keep track of your tools with shadow boxes and you should be a good CNC repair tech. Thank you.